You're... What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your man Khalil G. Today I got something really cool to talk to you guys about. I had just got myself a brand new bait. It's gonna be super hot for the upcoming summer and spring when it's getting a little warm outside. The bigger fish are coming back up shallow. Everybody's ready to eat and you will absolutely need this bait in your arsenal. Now, of course, you might know exactly what this is. You've seen the thumbnail, but they got the soft plastic version of it and they have a hard bait version of it. And everybody is normally with the hollow body, hard baitish version of this um, bait. And I got my hands on a mold for the soft plastic version of this bait. And I'm super excited and I cannot wait to bring it to you. So please stick around and stay tuned. Hope you enjoy this video while I test out new techniques with a brand new mold. Stay tuned. Here it is. Let's get to the table right now. All right. Welcome to the table. A few things have changed since the last time you guys have been to the table. I've added this heat shield mat here and I have actually tested it as I will show you now. I have used this mold once just to see what it would come out like. Let me give you a quick glimpse of that because uh, this one didn't come out 100% right but it is from this mold so I wanted to show that I have actually tried to use it before I wanted to see if this heat shield was going to work. It does not. This heat shield does not work. Not in the way that you would think you want it to. Basically it was supposed to divert heat from coming through and wearing out on this plastic that I have under here. There's plastic bubbles when I sit this cup on here at 350 degrees or higher you sit this cup on here and it makes a bubble under there. The heat is passing right through and making the glass warp. Um, though the glass does settle back down after it cools down, it leaves little knots depending on how long it was sitting there. There'll be a little tiny bulge in that spot, which eventually over time is going to make this whole entire counter wobbly, warped, and unusable. So I bought this as a way up to contradict that, and it does not work. Not as well as you would think it does. It does work like I can sit hot things on it, but I cannot sit that hot thing in that one spot for a long period of time. It will eventually make the glass bubble. The heat does transfer through this thing pretty well. I'm not going to say it's a wasted investment. I bought it off of Amazon, um, and it said it was going to do what it said it was going to do, and I just wanted it to be so see-through enough to see through it. You know, this is translucent. It's not thick like you would want it to be. I'm wondering if it'd be better if I just kind of folded it on top of itself and use it that way. Because I didn't want to buy more than one. But anyway, I digress. I come to talk about my brand new bait. This is the Swim Toad. This is by Do It Molds. It's one of their um, higher grade molds. Because originally, you know, Do It Molds all look like this. The very rough look and the ones I had to paint the inside and this is their easy models this is their you know what they call the easy models so these are the, the cheap ones what they just sell to people um, at a low price that so you can get started in the industry these are the more expensive versions these started at about 70 80 you know hundred dollars for these molds they're a little cleaner the CNC is a little cleaner on the inside so you don't get any of those grimy not so shiny look that it normally has the other ones give you a matte finish this one leaves you a gloss finish because of the smooth surfaces so I'm not gonna lie to you guys because I care about you guys this is not the first time I'm going to use this mold but I was not very successful the very first time I used this mold and so I want to try again this time why you can see so let's start with some color building I want to do some general frog colors um, I have an emerald green here which is a very light green then I also have a watermelon purple um, which should help darken it over and if that doesn't help I can always add a little black or a little brown to the mixture to see if I can darken it over some so let's start by adding some plastisol let's start here with the plastisol we got the color out the microwave add a few drops of that emerald green because I know exactly how light that color is sorry I'm gonna have to keep jumping it back and forth you can see that little ring it leaves I'm trying to make it so that it doesn't damage the table so I jump it back and forth a little bit see if I can get a decent color green out of those too 
But see how those colors, what they do? They are not thick at all. Now, mind you, I wouldn't mind that, but that is super watery, like super see-through. So, we're going to keep going. Well, actually, I'm going to use this thicker color, watermelon green. So a couple of dabs of a real green. Ooh, that sucker is leaking everywhere. All right. See if that changes anything. Oh yeah, that thickened her over. That's what we're looking for. And it has a pretty smooth, clear plastic to it. It has no bubbles. Like, there are no bubbles. This is glass surface. Never had that happen before. So, I did not heat this mold up. We're just going to give her a rip and see how she turns out because I need to I need to figure out this mold on why I'm getting dimples and other bad things. Try to hold that pressure. Hold that pressure. Yeah, fully leaked out. Still very liquidy. Actually, just doing that right there was the first time I've actually put bubbles in the mix. Interesting. All right, we got her all ready. It should be cool enough to open now. So, here's hoping for the best. I think it wants to hold on to that side, so let's give it what it wants. Look how clean that looks. Okay, uh, it's a little dented on that side. Oh, but the bottom filled in, and that is the first time that has actually come out properly for me. Every time I've made it before, let me show you the, the previous one. Every time I make it before, see how it has a dent in it right there? They all did that little dent right there where it was not setting properly. But this one, the dent is not there. It actually has the perfect hook bottom. It's as thick as it should be, which I've never got to see how thick they actually are. And then on this side, you have the eyes. The eye slot, the hook slot. Only difference is, is on this one, there's a dent right here on this one this time on the top side. And there's no dent on the top side on this one. So it actually, it's actually not a terrible color, especially for a frog. It's no, no, no flakes in it, no glitter, no nothing. Just pure frog. And I think that is a very, very, very pretty color. Let's see what else I can do with it. I'm just going to keep going and see if I can do it again. Alright, we got it back out this time. And on this run, I am going to add a little bit of black flake to it. Just because I want to see what it looks like with a little bit of something in it because it's a little it's a little too clear for me a little too see-through so just a little bit of light small black flake just try to add some texture to it maybe darken it up make it not so see-through like adding pepper to the sauce like we just put a little bit of a little bit of pepper on the seasoning here like i said i gotta jimmy this thing back and forth a little bit try not to overheat my plastic out the bottom there so let's slide this into view we're going to use our original four ounce because it's all you need to get the job done on one mold got to uh, hold and apply the pressure Alright, we'll let this one sit for a second, I'll bring you right back when it's done. Alright, got everything heating back up, let's see what this looks like. Let's see if we can keep it on this side this time, bam. 
little weird there in the very tip of that fin I mean that foot but we got her all the way up still got another flat spot right there for some reason in that same spot maybe it's cut like that I don't know but it wasn't on the other one so I can't believe it was cut that way even though the back did pull off properly again which I like all right, so now we went from having to sacrifice having one here to having one on this side again but that one is a little better as far as color goes because it doesn't look as plain as that one does Let's see if we get you a better shot so right there you can see thanks squirrel as you can see we got the flake on this one and the non-flake what the difference is but they look about the same feel about the same but real quick while I got your attention for these new baits one of the other reasons I think I liked it I liked it one of the other reasons I chose this very specific template was because the way the frog is set up on this template you can do hand pours so I have made molten hot yellow bottom which I'm going to fill the bottom here with a yellow color to try to mimic natural frogs here in the southeast so I'm gonna do like a yellowish white bottom and then I'll pour some pump some more of that green over the top and see how it goes so give me a second to get this back up to a decent temperature and we'll begin pouring okay that is super hot this is the bottom belly so we're gonna to try to fill the bottom belly a little bit into the legs that's, I'm okay with that a little bit of realism in it the only problem is I'm not sure how long that has to sit to cool over before I can pump the other color in. So I'm just going to give it some time because it is fairly hot liquid and I don't want to have any dents and things like that. Okay. I think she's ready to have some hot liquid pumped in on the other side. But I'll wait till I'm ready to flip her up and get her pumped so I don't mess up on this thing because it's my very first time doing it with this specific mold so I have no idea what's going to happen so I'm taking the utmost precaution to make sure that I don't do anything that's going to jeopardize the work we're putting into this and so that's nice and super hot it's going to be another that's going to sit for a while so let's get that up get that locked in get you extracted Get you injected. Only doing half the mold. Apply the pressure. Apply the pressure. Okay, because it doesn't take that much. Let the green be the the seasoning, the topping for the cake. So shall it be said. All right. Let's see what we got. What do you guys think? Think this one came out all right? Mm, first thing I see is the yellow side. Let me try to open it this way. Okay. You can definitely see the bleed over because that green is super light. It's see-through, super see-through green. It didn't get thick at all. But look at that. That white bottom is so much thicker. But it definitely works. It's two-tone frog. If I just darkened that green over a little more, you wouldn't be able to see it through the top. But other than that, it came out really nice now that I know how to pour it. Because it's kind of thick. I can literally pour the entire bottom half a different color. And then just pour another half on it. So that came out pretty decently. Actually, I'm going to try to redo that. And I'm actually going to try to darken over this green and see how that works out. All right. I've darkened it over. I've let it sit. So let's see if 
this is going to be better. I also did a little something extra on the inside too, so I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. One side was too thick, it wouldn't. Yeah, see, that green looks much better, but I ended up trying to pour some into the legs. And I think it just got too thick to where it wouldn't pump along the other side of it. So pumping into the legs is probably not a good idea without the other other kind of mold. Yeah. Anyway, that would have been nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. I made small adjustments to colors and see if I can get this right this time. That last one was embarrassing. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. It's just a solid green. You can't even see it. Let's see if I can get you a better view. I try to brighten it up a little bit so you can see the color, but it's still green, as you can see. But you can't see through it anymore. So let's see. Look at that. What the nice yellow belly there we are went back to automatic so this thing can do the color on its own but yeah that's it looks very dark in in the natural way the camera likes to show it but it is very green dark green on the top foresty green and then neon yellow on the belly this one this one is perfect this one is perfect not all the way filled the belly just enough to make it just right this one is a perfect frog I really want to see if I can recreate this exact type at least one more time all right as you can see I was able to do multiple copies of the exact same way so I have them flipped around so I made a few of copies of the exact same mold, doing it the exact same hand pour, and it turned out perfectly. All the bellies are neon on the other side. It came out really good. I like that. And of course, we have the original, which came out with no, with no, nothing on it, no seasoning, no anything. And this was the second one with the glitter added to it, and you know, just a little bit of black for content, but it still kind of looks exactly the same. And then this is the first one we had tried to apply the belly to. Uh, just to get an idea of what a belly would look like and you know of course it's more see-through because the, it was see-through at the time then of course I darkened it over and I was able to multiply the look over and over and over again except for on this one time here which is not in the photo but this is the one time I I did one that that didn't look good it, and it just went too far it just yeah it just wasn't right so but I did make a bunch that did look good, so that works out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you everybody for sticking around and staying tuned. Uh, as I showed you my brand new mold and showed you this new frog and what it can do, I'm really proud of the color combinations I was able to pull out of it. Of course, we're just experimenting, so there's so much more we can do, so much more we can build on from here, and I'm looking forward to doing so. So if you like this video, please subscribe down below. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and you made it this far, or give it a thumbs down if you didn't like what was going on. But Either way, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in the future. I would definitely like to respond and I love watching and reading you guys' comments. So please don't be afraid to comment down below. And you know, as always, thanks for sticking with me and staying tuned. And I will see you on the next one. I'm out.